functional dependencies and implications look similar, but their semantics is quite different. Nevertheless, there's a way to go from one of them to the other, to translate functional dependencies into implications and vice versa. Well, more precisely, let's say we have a data table T with uh, attributes M and rows R, and we want to build a formal context such that its implications are precisely the functional dependencies of our data table T. Well, this formal context is going to be built on the same, over the same attributes M, but the objects will be different. So for every pair of rows RS, we'll have a separate object. So G, our object set, is going to be the set of pairs of uh, rows from T. And then we say that RS has attribute M if the value of attribute M is the same for R and S in our original data table, if M of R equals M of S. It turns out that if we define our context in this way, X implies Y is a functional dependency in T if and only if it is an implication, a valid implication in GMI. Well, indeed, uh, suppose that X implies Y is a functional dependency in T. Why should it be a valid implication? Let's take one object, an arbitrary object of our formal context GMI. That's going to be a pair of original rows, R, S. And now assume that R, S has all attributes from X. What this means is that for every attribute M from X, the value of this attribute is the same for both R and S. But then, because we have a functional dependency X implies Y, the value of all attributes from Y should also be the same for R and S. But then our pair RS must have all attributes from Y in our new formal context, GMI. So the implication is valid. Indeed, we, we took an arbitrary object, assume that it has all attributes from X and show that it has all attributes from Y. In the other direction, suppose that X implies Y is a valid implication of our formal context. Uh, let's take two rows of our data table T. Uh, let's denote them by R and S. Uh, in our formal context, there must be an object corresponding to this pair. Now, if R and S have the same values for all attributes from X, then they must have all attributes from X in our formal context. Well, what I mean is that the corresponding object, the object corresponding to the pair RS must have all attributes from X in our formal context. Then because the implication is valid, uh, it must, this object must also have all attributes from Y. But this means that uh, the rows R and S in our original data table T have the same values for all attributes from Y. And so we've, we've shown that whenever we have two rows that have the same values for X, they also have the same values for Y, and this means that X implies Y is a valid functional dependency in T. Well, what this means is that should we want to compute uh, a cover, actually a minimal cover of all functional dependencies that hold in a data table, we can do it using our next closure algorithm. The Duquesne gig basis of this formal context GMI that we've just constructed is precisely the minimal cover of functional dependencies of T. And this can be useful in various tasks related to databases, such as relation decomposition and so on. Well, a translation in the other direction is also possible. Uh, when we have a formal context with implications, we can compute a data table whose functional dependencies are precisely implications of our formal context. That's maybe not very useful, but it's still possible to do this.